Hey guys, welcome back. I apologise for the delay in uploading. My work just got really busy and then hay fever hit me like a truck and I just didn't want to sit down and film a video because I felt awful and tired and meh. But I'm here now um, and today we're going to be looking at the Chip app. I'm going to do a walkthrough and I'll do a screen grab of my app so we can take a look at what's inside. In my last video, we talked about what exactly Chip is, how much it costs, what you get included um, and yeah, basically how to get access, just an overall introduction to Chip. But today we're going to be looking at the exact features that it has and then you can make your own informed decision on if you think it is worth the money. So if you haven't watched that last video and this is the first time you've ever heard of Chip, I would recommend going and checking that out either before or after, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, let's get started. Also, I forgot to mention, um, since filming that video, their maximum amount you can get interest on has changed to 10 grand. It was five grand. It's now 10,000 pounds. So you can get 1.25% interest rate on um, balances up to 10,000 pounds if you are on the Chip AI plan and you have access to the Chip Plus One account. All right, so logging in on my phone here, we can have a look. Okay, so the first tab you come onto is the Home tab. Similar to Moneybox, you've got your different tabs at the bottom. So the first one is Home on the far left there and it shows you your total balance. And then this pretty much has all of the shortcuts to all of the different features on here, um, but I'm not going to use them from the Home page. I'm gonna go on to Profile and do that first. So if we move over to the Accounts tab, um, this is what I talked about in my first video with the different types of accounts. So you've got your chip at the bottom, which is just your bog standard no interest rate bank account. Um, you've got your HTB, which as you can see says is at capacity, so you can't open this if you don't have one at the moment. And then at the top, you've got your chip plus one savings account, which is the one that pays the interest. If you click on that, then it shows you your history and your next bonus payout, which I think is really good because it encourages you to keep um, putting money in there or keeping it in there if you're one of those people that are always taking it out of your savings. So as you can scroll down, it shows your history. Um, you can see I've got a lot of automatic saves going into mine and then I've got my two lump sum deposits that I made in February and March. And also it has this little chart at the top that you can pull your finger along and yeah, it just shows you the different amounts of money that you've put in or taken out along your journey. And if we click on the next bonus payout, then this is the bit where you can see your interest building up, which like I say, is really encouraging. So it's, I think it's every six weeks. I'm not sure when, this is the first bonus I've had. I haven't yet had a bonus paid into my account yet. Um, as you can see, I've got £10 and two pence waiting in interest or bonus, as they call it, to be paid to me. And that's going to be paid on the 11th of May. Uh, it's currently mid-April. Yeah, and as you can see, it says all time bonus zero because I haven't yet had a bonus paid to me. Um, and at the bottom, it's got, like I say, it's been put up to £10,000 now. And I put um, another £750 in since I last spoke in my last chip video so I am planning to keep putting money in here um, but like I say I am investing a lot of my money as well. Obviously we've got shortcuts to deposit and withdraw there and then if you click on info you can view your account statements and auto save allocation which I will cover somewhere else. One thing I would say is that you can't transfer money between chip accounts, so you'd have to take it out, you'd have to withdraw it to another bank and then deposit into the other one. You can't yet transfer them um, between chip accounts. I think they're working on it, but maybe not. Okay, in the middle we've got the invest tab and this is not yet available, I don't think, or if it is, it's still in the beginning stages of development. I have chosen not to um, persevere with this feature because like I say I have invested in um, other providers so I don't really need another investment provider as I have three already I think but yeah if you wanted to you can click unlock and you can do some investing with them as well looks like it's just funds as it says investment funds powered by black rock so if you were interested in that aspect of it um, I would do some research into black rock and see what they offer yeah, it looks like they've got both a stocks and shares ISA and an investment account, so that is good to know. 
and then let's skip girls for now and go on to pride first so I can show you all the different settings this is where most of the features are in the app so you've got your different plans so this is what I explained in the first video which I would recommend watching because it is a little bit confusing so you can switch between your plans so if you click on view plans here it's got a little comparison chart for the chip AI and the chip light which is the free one so as you can see here, the free plan has 1.25% bonus on funds up to £2,000. Um, you can save up to £85,000 in your account, but you'll only get that bonus on a £2,000 of it. You get manual deposits and withdrawal rules, and you can also get access to the goals feature, which I will show you in a second, and the investment funds as well. If you pay and you go for the chip AI plan, which is £1.50 every 28 days, which is 13 times a year, so £19.50 a year, then you get all of the stuff that the chip light has, obviously, um, but you get 1.25% bonus or interest on funds up to £10,000. Again, you can save up to £85,000, but only get interest on the 10 k You get the automatic savings, so they have a savings bot, an auto saver that you can use, um, and you can change this using the smart savings rules. Unlimited manual deposits and withdrawal rules, access to the goals and the investment funds like the chip light. So basically the chip AI extras are the extras bonus amount that you get to you up to 10 grand and also the savings bot, so the auto saver, you don't get that with the chip light. So if we start with the chip AI automatic savings bot. So if we click on the I here next to automatic savings, it shows you a little bit of information about what it is. So you can see here, one minute read, the chip algorithm calculates what you can afford based on your spending habits. So it's open banking, it has access, well, if you give it, it will have access to your bank and it can see your spending habits and how much you are spending and how many transactions, for example. So they make an informed decision based on how much they think that you can afford and they automatically move that out into your chip account. Yep, yeah, and as you can see here, um, it says about the chip plus one access. To unlock chip plus one, simply invite a friend to chip or enter a valid code within your first week on chip. All money deposited into Chip Plus One is held with UK Bank Clear Bank. So Chip isn't a bank itself, it uses another bank provider. Clear Bank, the bank that they use, is um, eligible for the FSCS scheme. So um, I think I had a comment on one of my other videos saying, is this protected by the FSCS? Because it's not on their website, but it's because the bank needs to be covered by FSCS, not CHIP, because CHIP is the third party in between provider, so the actual bank is protected and that is the important bit. Yeah, I forgot to mention this as well, so as well as the CHIP automatic savings bot, you also get um, payday putaways, which is a monthly bonus that you can set up for it automatically to move over when you get paid. So that's also a feature on the premium plan. So let's go to auto save settings this is where most of your settings will be like i say this is all of the links that are on the home page um, just makes it easier for me to go through these one by one so firstly we have the payday put away so you can just put in the date that you get paid so you get paid on the third and then you can put how much you want to set up so you want to do 200 pounds just set that up easy as that and then every third of the month, then £200 will be put into your chip account. Uh, you, oh yeah, there you go, you can do it weekly, so you can also do it on a weekday, not on a weekend. You can do the same thing if you prefer to do it weekly. And, and delete, just put delete payday. So that was the payday put away, and you can also change the autosave allocation, so where you want your auto saves to go into which account I obviously have them into the chip plus one because that's where the interest rate is okay this is where you can change the level of severity of your savings for the auto saves so obviously you've got it on a scale of five I have it on three um, I think I did have it on four 
but I found that it was a little bit too much for me. They were taking out like 30 quid a week, possibly, um, which is manageable, but I, yeah, I just like to do it a bit more manually because I put money into my investments and I'm quite active with moving my money around. So I've got mine on three, but you can change it just by clicking them onto what you want. Next one down is overdraft savings. And this is the first time I've seen this feature on a banking app like this before. So this means that you can control whether it makes auto savings if your bank goes into overdraft. So say your everyday bank account that's linked to your chip goes into overdraft. You can change whether or not it continues to save and take more money out of your overdraft or not. So you can turn overdraft saves on, which means it would then continue. But it, um, the standard setting is off, which means it wouldn't take money if you are in overdraft. Next is a minimum bank balance. Again, I haven't seen this in any other apps, which I think is quite a good feature. So this is similar to the overdraft. Um, you can set a minimum bank balance so that you don't want your bank account balance to go below a certain number and then you want chip to stop auto saves. So say you don't want your bank balance to go below £200, then you could put 200 and then once your bank account hits that number, then chip will stop doing auto saves until it goes above again. And then this feature at the bottom, skip auto saves. I've actually turned this on at the moment um, because I needed some money for something. I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, so you can skip auto saves for one week, two weeks or until a certain date, which is really, really helpful if you are, for example, skint for a month or you need to take money out for something for one week and you don't want any more money to come out that week. Instead of cancelling it and then restarting it, you can just pause it, which I think is really, really helpful. So I've paused mine until the 19th of April. I think I did a two week pause. So that's a really good feature in my opinion. Okay, so that's all of the auto save settings um, with the automatic savings bot that Chip AI plan has. Out of the Chip Lite settings, you don't get any of that because you don't get access to the automatic savings feature. You only have manual withdrawals and access to the goals and the investments. So all of this stuff is in the premium plan. So now let's look at the goals feature, which is available for the free and the premium plan. I don't actually use this um, feature because the goals are a little bit small for me. So all of my savings goals would be quite big, like saving for a house or going traveling. So there would be quite significant amounts of money. And to be fair, I haven't looked at this since they've upped the amount up to 10 grand. But when it was five grand, the maximum savings goal you could put was 5,000 pounds. And that just wasn't enough for me. Um, I'm not saving up for anything that's under five grand. But yeah, let's take a look. So you can create a goal. And it's funny because here it says a house deposit goal. But like I say, you're going to need more than £5,000 for a house deposit. It lets you put 5000 in. Does it let you put over? Yeah, so if you put 6000 it greys out and you can't click next. So the maximum goal amount you can put is... 5,000 which I think is a little bit annoying considering now they've upped the maximum savings for interest anyway up to 10 grand so I feel like they should have upped that goal amount to 10 grand as well but maybe they haven't got there yet but yeah you can set up that so your goal has been created and then what they can do so you see here it says automatic save allocation you can put how much of your auto saves you want to go towards this goal. So you could make it 100 and all of your auto saves that chip do will go towards this goal and it will set it aside for this goal. Here is quite a nice feature. It tells you, um, gives you a prediction of when it thinks that you will reach this goal looking at your um, automatic savings amounts. So it's saying that I would be able to save £5,000 by January in 2025 and that would be to save up £5,000 using this auto save feature which I think is actually quite interesting and obviously this will change depending on your um, auto save aggression level I can't remember what they call it the auto save level obviously if you have that at number five then you'll get there a lot quicker and if you have it at number one obviously you'll get there a lot slower I'm on three but that is quite interesting to know that 
I could save £5,000 in four years time just by putting the auto saves on. And then here it's got a little key of how achievable they think that these dates are. And again, I think that's um, a really nice thing. So you could click on a date and set an end date and that might help you focus on um, a certain date and make you save harder. I know some people do struggle to save, so that might help you. Um, you can edit and just delete it there. Yeah, so at the top where it says balance zero, I assume if you have a goal and you've got money going towards your goal, then it will just allocate it onto this tab here. But like I say, I haven't used it. Okay, so that is all of the features that Chip has. Um, I think that I've covered everything. Like I say, back on this home tab, this is just all of the shortcuts to all of the things that are in mainly the profile tab, um, between the profile and the goals tab. So you've got all your auto save settings here and then you've got your goals there and your total balance at the top, which is all of your accounts put together. And then if we click on this little chart at the top corner, then you can see your savings breakdown. It gives you a little um, monthly overviews of your savings. So you can see that I took some money out this month, which like I say, I needed some money, so I had to take some money out. One thing I would say, um, if I just show you, and we go to withdraw it does take I think one or two working days to withdraw money so it's not a quick fix so don't put all of your money in here if you know that you will probably need to take some out at points in time during the month yeah here it says withdrawals before 11 a.m take one working day after 11 a.m it will take two working days so do bear that in mind when thinking about how much you're putting into this account and obviously the way to get access to the Chip Plus One account is through a friend. They do it through a referral scheme. So if you were to give somebody else your Chip VIP code, you will only get one and you can only give it away to one person. You can find that in this tab, invite a friend. So you can give them your VIP passcode and they will then get access to the Chip Plus One. And then in the track your friend, you can see how far they've got with opening up their chip account. And if you wanted to contact them, I think their messaging service is the same as Free Trade. It looks very similar anyway. You can click on that and just send them a message there. I've never actually used their chip messaging service. I've never needed to contact them, so I don't know how fast they reply. But yeah, you've got all of these different pre um, pre-selected issues that you might be having so that you could just select what you're trying to do and what you need help with and that's that in the help center what is it just some frequently asked questions which is always helpful and you can search for things there and you can also turn on a secure login if you want to be extra secure but apart from that that is the chip app in a nutshell, I hope that has been helpful. So since my last video, obviously, like I said, they did change the um, maximum interest balance that you can get from 5,000 up to 10,000. And therefore my calculations for the average interest rate have changed. So it's now, I think 1.05%. I will double check and put it in the pinned comment. But yeah, now I've decided to keep my Chip AI premium plan with Chip and use it as my main savings account for my emergency fund, whereas before I was using Tandem because they gave me a high interest rate as well, but they recently dropped my interest rate on that account. So I've moved it over from there into Chip. I hope I haven't confused you. Please do leave a comment if you've got any questions or any thoughts, any opinions. I love to hear what you guys think. And please do give me a subscribe if you haven't already, as it really encourages me to keep making content.